Hey, what is up everybody? It's your boy. Real quick pickup video for y'all tonight. I'm sorry, this is considered a toy hunting video, but I didn't get any footage because I wasn't expecting to pick up anything. So right off the bat, let me tell you all the story. We went in the last toy hunting episode to look for Soundwave G1 reissued through Walmart and the reissue two pack cassettes that go to Soundwave and all we found were the cassettes. Couldn't find Soundwave. My buddy Ben picked up the cassettes. I didn't pick up anything because, well, I have my reasons and I'll tell you that at the end of the video. Well, tonight, in tonight's uh, uh, adventure to Walmart, like I said, didn't film anything because I didn't think we'd find anything. The random thing happened that a Walmart employee actually helped us tonight and actually went to the back and found Soundwave. Alrighty, so I picked up Soundwave. Well, I picked up the box. Look at that. G1 Decepticon Soundwave. The box is empty. There's a reason why I have the box. <clears throat> Let me show you all the cassettes right off the bat. You have uh, Laser Beacon Frenzy right here. Look at that. Really, really cool. There's a car over here looking at me all crazy, but it is what it is. These cassettes are 20 bucks. Uh, there's the backside. I know y'all haven't probably seen reviews or anything like that, but uh, there it is. Pretty cool. Second set is Ravage and Rumble. For some reason, Ravage uh, didn't come, or is it Laserbeak? Laserbeak didn't come with uh, Soundwave. He's in one of these two packs. He's in that one. So there you go on that one. And then there's the back of the card right there. I think these are really, really neat. $20 a piece, basically $10, uh, $10 each. For uh, each cassette, um, do you think they are? Do you think they're worth it? I think they are. I think they're pretty cool. But uh, yeah, man, got lucky finding these. The crazy thing about it is when we picked up Soundwave, they only had. Uh, I saw a Frenzy and Rumble uh, laying on the uh, top shelf, and when I got Soundwave. I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to find the other ones. It's going to be a killer thing. So I just happened to grab a random big toy and scrape it along the top shelf. And I hit something and I found the second set, which is really cool. So I have both sets right there. Off onto the, uh, the main thing, Soundwave. Look at that. Really, really neat. G1 reissue, but uh, there's the back. I don't know if y'all ever seen the back, it's kind of cool. I think uh, for $49, it's a little high. I think it could have probably been a little cheaper. Uh, I don't think it should have been this much. I think the collector price is just a little too much for my taste. So you're probably wondering, Damien, why did you buy these, Dan? Well, let me let me review the sound wave right off the bat. Uh, it's accurate. The only thing that I know that is not accurate is that the sticker, uh, the color changing uh, Decepticon logo sticker. But from what I know, first run original sound wave didn't have that, I think. But it is what it is at the end of the day. I got the reissue Walmart G1 comes with Buzzsaw which should have been Laserbeak but they did that probably for marketing to be able to have you have to buy the other tapes to complete uh, Soundwave with Laserbeak and the other characters so you can't complain about it it is what it is the back has the classic 
uh, Transformer stuff information, all the cards and stuff. Really neat. Now, why did I pick this up and why do I have the shipping box? Well, just to let everybody know, these are technically not even for me. As we found these, that box was sealed. The uh, Walmart employee uh, came over and opened the box and ripped it. And I was like, ooh, I got to get a hold of some people. Because my buddy Ben picked one up. So there's, there's only six to the case, so at least five. I contacted Toy Tony. Tony, wave. Wave to the camera. Come on, Tony. Wave. Hey. <laughs> he said that he couldn't get it right now. He was kind of busy tonight. So that leaves still five. So I decided to contact another certain someone that was looking out for these and could not find them. So Mr. OK Chief has now owned his own Soundwave and carded Transformers. Yes, these are for Chief. The crazy thing is I contacted Chief and, and called him below. Uh, called him as we're picking these up and he's like, bro, get them for me if you can find the other one. So that's why I did what I did with the carded tapes. I reached up and slid that toy across and I found the other set and he was like, done. So we worked out a deal. He's going to send me the cash and I'm going to take him his toys and he will be a happy camper. At the end of the day, Soundwave, my buddy Ben picked one up. I will probably have a, a video review of it from him. Uh, I think it's really, really nice. I don't remember the artwork, the original box having the little uh, tape. That's laser beat, but why does it? I don't, I don't know, but our buzzsaw was a bird too. I don't remember. I'm, I'm lost. Anyways, I, I don't know my Transformer history that much. I, I love Soundwave. He's one of my favorite characters. But uh, yeah, man, let me know if you've picked these up. Let me know what you think of the quality. These are going to Chief. And that's pretty much it for tonight's pickup, man. I was hoping to uh, not find anything and we found it. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Can't complain. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you picked up any of these. Let me know if you like them. Let me know what you're looking forward to in the next Transformer reissue through Walmart. It is what it is at the end of the day. Peace, y'all.